thanks for coming to talk to me about seeds. You're welcome, Kit. Thanks for having me. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Dawn Abrahamson. How long have you been at Seeds? Um, since about 2014, when I was going to Cleveland State, I went back to college uh, to get my undergraduate degree after trying many years to get it and not following through. I started then, and I've been coming since then pretty much. But my husband has been, I got him involved in it, and he's been doing it for several years now, and he he's really good with uh, math, higher level math. Yeah, that's, that's something we need a lot of is higher level math. That yeah. can be hard for a lot of tutors. So it is. That's always like a need that we have. Uh -huh. So you said you went back to school later uh -huh. when you were in your 60s? You yes. Said? So what were the barriers that you had in your education, like why you stopped and started? Well, uh, I moved. I um, when I when I started when I was in my you know, right out of high school for two years, and then I thought, why am I doing this? And uh, I wish I would have finished, but heck. Anyway, I tried, I lived in different places. I moved and um, went to different colleges, and then finally I, when I had retired, uh, I lived in Michigan and moved here to marry my husband. I went to Cleveland State to get my degree. But I, I see how difficult it is to get a GED these days, and uh, I feel really sorry for the people who weren't able to graduate from high school mm -hmm. at the time, uh, but there's so many different reasons that they weren't able to graduate, and that uh, gives me a lot of compassion for them. And um, I'm grateful there's a place like Seeds to uh, um, that's so well run to give them an opportunity to to do that. Uh, one thing that really impressed me and my husband is the way SEEDS is set up, the, the organization, the different levels that they go through, they guide them through the process. And uh, that has been um, so helpful for, for tutors and for the students that um, I, I don't know any other volunteer uh, things that I've done have not been this well organized. So. Well, it sounds like you have a lot of parallels kind of with the students and your reasonings oh. for not completing all those years was your bachelor's and theirs is their high school experience. But do you feel true. kind of like you have connections with them and more compassion that you had the some similar issues finishing? Yes, yes, I do. I, I never thought of that before, but um, that's a good point. I do feel um, like we have similarities I can relate mm -hmm. to trying to get through things in, in, as you mature. <laughs> What was your experience like in school, in grade school, high school? Oh, I, I went to good schools when I was younger, so um, I felt like I, I had a good education, so that wasn't, that wasn't the problem for me. It was just, you know, it was the 60s and 70s, and, you know, people were doing their own thing, <laughs> so it kind of got waylaid. How would you describe the classroom atmosphere at Seeds? I would describe it as... Uh, they're serious, but they're but they're fun <laughs> too. You know, they're it can be lighthearted, and um, people seem to uh, really appreciate the opportunities that they've been given, and that it's free. Mm -hmm. That is really a big thing because most people who come here, I don't think they have the resources to uh, to pay a for profit mm -hmm. um, organization. What do you think are some of the benefits of being a tutor? Um, well, for me, since I'm retired, it gives me a place to go and feel like I'm contributing. Um, uh, the people are interesting. It, uh, it's also, it refreshes my memory of, of math and uh, some things about uh, just reading and what a struggle that is for many people. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like it's, it's help, it helps me too. Uh, so I, I think that I've seen really good tutors here, people who used to teach, mm -hmm. and they, they really know what they're doing, and uh, it's an inspiration to me and the rest of us. But you weren't a teacher, right? I was never a teacher, no. But I, I feel um, good that I can help individuals in right, that way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'd say most of our tutors aren't teachers. Yeah. What was it like the first time you tutored someone? Well, um, Chris was here, and... <laughs> uh, I don't remember the particulars now because it was, you know, almost 10 years ago. But um, I, I just, I never felt uh, out of my depth. And um, I, I felt very, you know, guided 
in, in as far as what I needed and how I could help somebody. So he's a good uh, sense of what people need and how to and what tutors can offer. I think. What is it that's kept you coming back to tutor for as long as you have? I I like the atmosphere. I like the people. I I like feeling that I have something to offer, and that uh, I always learn something every time I come. I find it's interesting and they start telling you their story when they feel comfortable with you. You kept tutoring all through the pandemic. Can you describe what that was like? Yes, it was uh, uh, different. Um, I mean, some people liked it better. My husband still does it by over Zoom and I had to learn. There was learning curve as far as the technology goes because I had to learn how to upload things so that they could see my screen. But other, other people like my husband could uh, right on the, the screen mm -hmm. and work with students directly that way, which I'm sure is a big help. Is there anything that you think makes Seeds unique? Oh, definitely. Um, Seeds is so organized and so um, uh, student-oriented and kind. I don't know, the people here just make me feel like, uh, you know, we're here to help people and they're here to learn and pass the GED or whatever test it is that they're going to take and hopefully become lifelong learners like some of us. Yeah, like you. <laughs> yeah, like me. What would you say to someone who's interested in tutoring? Um, I would say come on down and see <laughs> if it's right for you. <laughs> I think that they would be happy to have uh, um, more tutors and uh, I find it so rewarding and um, I'm sure other people would too, so if they're interested, try it. It's really not a big bar to, to pass into tutoring. Thanks so much for coming to talk to me. Oh, I really enjoyed it. Thank you.